Hey guys, welcome back to another Saturday Night Special. And this week, we're going to be looking at Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent for the original Xbox. Now, I had this on the 360, uh, when I had a 360, I still own the game, I don't own the console. Um, and I could never do it, I was really, really crap at this game. I've never been very good at Splinter Cell anyway. Uh, I was okay at the first one, after that I just lost the plot, couldn't get to grips with it. And um, when it came to Double Agent, I just could not play the game. I couldn't even do the first mission, it was just too hard for me. I uh, didn't understand it in the slightest, but I picked this up for the original Xbox. Because one, it's rare, and it's going to go up in price more as time goes by anyway. So I wanted it for the collection. But I thought tonight I'd have a go and see if I can play the game. Now I've had a quick practice, and I must admit this is absolutely fantastic. It's really nice. Um, the graphics just look absolutely stunning. I can't believe it's on the original Xbox. It looks this good. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, what I also which is quite interesting is that the game's completely different to the 360. I remember the first level of the 360 one. You go underwater from what I can remember, and you come out in like um, a, well, it's like um, like an industrial work complex kind of thing. You have to break in and um, stop a, a, a bomb going off on a big rocket. And I could never do that. I never understood what to do. But this one's got a completely different first level, so I don't know if they've changed the game for the original Xbox. But uh, I'm seriously impressed with it so far. I'm playing it on normal, by the way, because I'm absolutely <laughs> shit at splinter cells, as I say. And uh, if I play it on hard or anything, I'll just try and get anywhere. Right. I'll just skip the intro because we want to play the game. Don't we? Yeah, I'm really, really impressed with the quality of that on this game. When Lambert asked me to show you the ropes, I didn't think he meant it literally. Don't start your issue. Your support on this, remember? Should I call Lambert and confirm that? You won't have to. Nice time. You're en route to a power plant at Bowser. I believe it's owned by Lydian Kadir. I'm pretty certain the voice over there who blocked playing Lambert, I'm sure it's Dennis, uh, Dennis Haysbury, who uh, was to play President Palmer in 24, and uh, there's also Jonas Blaine in the unit. I'm pretty certain it's him. Very cool guy. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> Actually, it's a straight away. The graphics are stunning. I mean, look at that light effect with the sun like and the reflection on the ice. Roger that. I'm to Absolutely fantastic. The right away. So we babysit the package till they get here. Negative. Those might have nothing we need. Them for the recovery team and proceed in Okay, here we go, guys. The biggest problem I have with this game is because it's a sneak up uh, and I'm absolutely shit at stealth. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a bloke. Over there on the left hand side, put my night vision on. There he is in the black. I want to go and try and take him out. There's also a glass of ice in front between us. Watch this, this is so funny. It just pulls him through the glass of ice. <laughs> Brilliant. Who are you? Did Doc Pierce send you? Yes, he did. Good. Tell him we did it. But we managed to steal the weapons. They're right outside, ready for transport. Good job. I'll take over here. Okay, now I can either put him down or I can interrogate him some more or I can just kill him. I think I'm just going to kill him. I think he actually just punched him in the kidneys to be honest. <laughs> there used to be a way on the original one to split the cells where you could shoot him in the head or you could smack him over the head with a gun. But I've forgotten how to do that and that was really cool. Okay, I'll give my mate a leg up. You know, it's games like this that make you realise why the Xbox was such a great system. And it's also a game that makes you get really pissed off at the fact that Microsoft just dropped it off a hot potato as soon as they bought the 360 out. The biggest mistake they ever made was to um, basically disrespect all the Xbox owners by just bringing out a 360 and ignoring the Xbox. We should have been guarding those crates in the first place, Lambert. Save it for later, Sam. Ok, we've got to go back to the beginning of the level now. Protect the crates because there's an helicopter coming with a load of bad guys. Uh, this is, I'm not sure I want to tackle this because they're facing each other now. I'm assuming I can just take them out or just shoot them. I don't know how to lean against walls, so that's the only problem with this. 
I'm just going to shoot him because that piece is going to be easier for us. I shall find a thing to touch it. Oh shit, I'm using the machine gun, I'm using the wrong weapon. I forgot to change my gun. Oops. I wanted to use a silent pistol, just forgot about that. Um, which one is it? The white button, isn't it? That's what I wanted, a silenced pistol. Quite a bloody machine gun, I'm thinking I'll get a bloody... All the other guys coming after me now. Right, okay, let's go. I just love the lighting effects of this machine, the Xbox is so good. Right, have I opened up the door? So I've got to go up on top of that, great. Okay. Uh, you see, there's a soldier, well, hopefully you can see, this is, uh, it's pitch black. There's a soldier coming towards me, so, night vision on. Just get over by the walk, he's going to get a bit closer, boys. Uh, on my practice run, I found out that you can do a, a pretty cool manoeuvre, which I'm going to attempt to try and do now, and see if I can get it right. So I had to have a practice run because this gameplay would have been horrendous if I was. <laughs> I'd have looked really like a total noob. Okay, up we go. Just uh, shimmy across the pond. I hope this goes to plan. <laughs> right, I'm just waiting for him to come along. Hopefully I can just strangle him. Damn it, missed him. Where's he gone? Oh, he's gone in the corner there, he's hiding. Come on mate, come outside, I'm getting him. He ain't gonna move now, he's just gonna sit there and just piss me off. That light effect from the fans just looked amazing. Come on dude, move. Is he gonna piss? Oh he isn't though, he's just done his trousers up. <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, I missed him again, you've got to be really quick with that. I should probably get the lights and what's in. If the whole game is as, as um, easy to pick up as it has been so far, I'm going to really enjoy this because the previous games were so bloody hard. Got him. Here we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Go on, Sam. Right. I've got to climb up the shaft now, up to the uh, fan. Oh, here we go. Tell me not there's nothing. It. Just because it looks beautiful, all the lighting effects. <laughs> this bit reminds me of like Uncharted, in the way the way you you manoeuvre. Look at that light, I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. This, the Xbox is such a fantastic console. Can't praise it enough. Right. Okay, I want to go a bit of uh, Uncharted 2 now. Here we go. There you go, over the edge. Fantastic. Look at that, the animation is just absolutely spot on. Right. I don't know what I've got to do now because it's just as far as I've got on my train on my um, test one. Where's the camera then? That sounds like a camera. You have a special tool for this. The lab boys call it an optically channeled potentiator. I call it the OCP. Right there, mounted on your pistol. Just aim and shoot. The green light means it works. To be sure. All you have to do is switch to blue vision. If you see nothing, that means it works. But it's not disabled for long, so you'd better hurry. Oh, I see you. Yeah. Quick, 
Kosnyac, Bosnia, Kamba.